What's up, guys? Sim here, and this is Street Race Talk, episode 125. And this week, we have some big news to talk about. But starting it off is what we were talking about last week. The main topic, and I guess the sub-main topic of last week, are two of the topics we will be discussing today. And the first one is that 405 cash days. I hyped up and was talking about saying this could possibly be that cash days we were going to see put on by Limpy put on for the show, but I was completely wrong. When I heard guys like Kai Kelly were going down to the 405 for this race, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be a huge race. Turns out, it was just a daily driver cash days. No, there was no huge big tire cash days. It was just a daily driver cash days from all the guys out in the 405 and other guys like Kai Kelly. So that means that we will still be seeing this huge big tire cash days put on by Limpy in the coming weeks. This is going to be out in DFW. It's going to be a huge, crazy, awesome race. You know when Limpy is putting on a cash days, it's going to be an amazing race and I cannot wait for it. And also last week we talked about JJ's arm drop which went down this past weekend. Sadly on the second day they ended up getting rained out. They came down to two cars I believe which was Precious Cooper in the Zip Tie Nova and Brian Britt in the Assassin. Two of the fastest cars from Memphis made it all the way to the finals and I heard they did not end up finishing the race because of rain which really sucks to see I saw they did finish the 6-0 class but for the big tire class they did not end up finishing which really sucks hopefully soon we will see those two battle it out on the streets to see who would have won I guess but still either way that whole race it seemed like tons of people had a, such a great awesome time there I saw tons of pictures all week on Facebook of guys like JJ Precious Midget and all of the other people from Memphis taking pictures with fans and stuff like that and all the kids especially that's my favorite thing when I see all this stuff at big races like this these big name racers could be posting pictures of their cars themselves, other cars, other racers' cars, the race itself. But no, these guys were all posting pictures and stuff of them with the fans, with all these kids, which is just so awesome to see. Getting like more young people into this sport, into racing, is just so much fun to watch. So cool to see. I'm so glad it looked like tons of people, although there was rain, tons of people, and it seemed like just about everyone there still loved the event and enjoyed it. And I cannot wait for them to have another JJ's arm drop. And now, time to get to the main topic, which this week we are talking about season 11 of Street Outlaws. That is right. They have officially announced when season 11 will start. That cash days that we actually ended up talking about. So go back to Street Race Talk, episode 122, if you want to hear how that whole race played out. But either way, they will be airing it on TV on Monday, May 28th, 2018. That is when they will be having, I guess, the season premiere of Street Outlaws Season 11. Then the following Monday, Monday, June 4th. 2018 will is what they say is the start of just the normal season. Now, some people might be confused, and I was confused myself because I saw on the Street Outlaws Facebook page, the official Street Outlaws Facebook page, they were posting like or reposting links and articles, and they were actually posting themselves saying this upcoming season is season 12. And when I first saw that, I was like, wait, well, why does it say season 12? Wasn't the last season? just season 10 did I miss a whole season but no then I looked it up looked back the last season was definitely season 10 and I looked it up on Google and said this upcoming season is season 11 so Discovery Pilgrim Street Outlaws whoever is running that Facebook page obviously doesn't really know what exactly is going on so this upcoming season yes it is season 11 and we heard from Big Chief I believe they did a live stream a little while back talking about season 11 and what they plan on doing 
arguing because I'm not going to lie, and you guys agree with me on this. Season 10 was a letdown. I was expecting it to be huge, but it was like sub-average to say the least. And this upcoming season, one of the number one things I wanted was to see out-of-town races. We only saw one out-of-town race in season 10, and it was the first episode when the 405 ended up racing the Memphis Street Outlaws. So, Big Chief said, there's tons of more Big tire cars that have come up. Tons of more states and towns and groups that have come up from the show being out. From seeing all these other big tire street racers out in like the the 405, out in Texas, out in Memphis. There's tons of other guys all across the United States that want a shot at the 405. And they're going to be racing tons of those guys on this upcoming season for season 11. It's going to be crazy and awesome to see. They're also going to be doing some list races as well, of course. And also, I'm not sure yet. If we're going to be seeing guys like Monza or Kamikaze on this season. Because as we know, they're in the process of switching over to Twin Turbo. And Boosted GT is in the same boat. He just got his new car out. So who knows how much we're going to see of those guys in this upcoming season. If we're going to see them at all. But I hope we end up seeing all three of those guys at least make a shot for the list. But this upcoming season, guys, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. I'm not going to lie. That trailer they uploaded for the season, I don't want to like be talking bad or hating on it or anything like that. But it just kind of seemed like repetitive, I guess you could say. After 11 seasons, they said, the biggest race in the world to see who's number one. It kind of just got a little repetitive. They need to change that up or something like that. But either way, I hope, I hope, I hope this is going to be an awesome season. Guaranteed the racing is going to be as good as it has ever been. The cars are as fast as they have ever been. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will be one of, if not the best season ever. I cannot wait to see tons of out of town races because those, in my opinion, are the best episodes to watch. Leave your comments down below. What are your favorite episodes to watch of Street Outlaws. My favorite, like I said, are out-of-town races. They're just so much fun to watch. Seeing the whole four or five come together as a team and stuff like that. I think that's just so cool and so awesome to see. And you see tons of new guys that you've never seen before. Like, let's say they go out to Arizona. We'll be seeing a bunch of guys we don't see every single week out from Arizona on this show. It's just so much fun to watch. So cool to see. And I cannot wait for season 11 of Street Outlaws. So May 28th will be the season premiere when they have that cash days they put on out in the 405. And we talked about it in Street Race Talk episode 122. So go back and watch that if you want to hear what happened or just wait for it to air on TV. And then June 4th is when the official season will start for season 11 of Street Outlaws. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. One quick thing I want to say, we only talked about three things this episode, but I'm not going to lie. I had a ton of fun recording this episode. I don't know. I was just like, I'm excited to record every single episode each and every week. That's probably why I'm, I've am i made it to 125 episodes. But this week, I was just like, man, I just can't wait to talk about it. Just hearing that the season of Street Outlaws is about to start, something that happens all the time. But I, every time this starts, I just get all excited. I'm all happy. It's just everything's in a good mood. Summer's coming. School's getting out. The weather's getting nice. I'm making progress on my car. It's just a great time to be alive right now. So like I said, that is all. Make sure you guys tune in this Wednesday for another video of my car. It's supposed to be raining all weekend, so I probably won't have very many soccer games going on this weekend. So you guys, I can guarantee you, I'll be out here in the garage working on bets. You guys gave me tons of good feedback on last Wednesday's video when it came to mounting up the fuel pump and things like that. Hopefully, I will get that thing planted in and mounted this weekend. So make sure you guys tune in this Wednesday to see everything that I ended up doing this weekend on Betsy. And make sure you guys tune in next Friday for Street Race Talk episode 126. Where, as always, we'll be talking about all the news that happens this week in street racing. And make sure you guys please, please, please leave comments down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about your thoughts on season 11. Do you think it's going to be great and awesome or do you think it's going to be horrible and bad? Leave your comments down below. I read absolutely all the comments are implied to just about all of them. And make sure you guys please, please, please turn on your notifications 
notifications. YouTube have made it for whatever reason so much harder for videos to appear in your sub boxes. So make sure you turn notifications on so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SimABCXYZ. I post updates and pictures all the time of me when I'm out working on Betsy. I just post other random things just for fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SimABCXYZ signing out.